All right, let's go through some interesting examples here. So here I've got 220%. If I was to turn this into a decimal, I just use my same technique. I take 220, I divide it by 100. So that means my decimal place is originally here. I move it once, I move it twice. So that means I'm going to end up with 2.2 .2 as my decimal there. If I want to turn it into a fraction, I do the same thing. I take 220 and I divide it by 100. I then need to simplify this. You know, I immediately cancel out my zeros there, which means I'm now going to be left with 22 on 10. How many times does 10 go into 22? This is where I'd want to write it as a mixed number now. 10 goes into 22 twice with two left over. Now this can be simplified to become two, one on five. So that's going to be my answer, two, one on five there. My next one is a tricky one as well. It's 0.4%, but it's really just hammering home the message that you just do exactly what we've done before. Don't worry that it looks weird. I take 0.4, and I divide it by 100. So that means I move my decimal once, twice. So now it's going to be 0. Point, now remember there's a zero there, right? So it's 0. 0.004. That's what's going to be my answer there, 0. 0.004. Uh, if I turn it into a fraction, I do exactly the same thing that I've been doing up here. You know, I take 0. 0.4 and I put it over 100 like that. All right, now this is where it gets a little different. I actually don't like having a decimal in my numerator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to times the top by 10 and the bottom by 10. And by doing that, what I'm going to end up with is four on 1000. And now I no longer have a decimal in my numerator. And now I can simplify this as well. I can divide both of these by four. Now, what is a, a thousand divided by four? It's going to be 250. So my answer here will be one on 250. And that's as simple, simple as it gets. So that is how you do it, guys. That is how you take percentages and turn them into decimals and fractions.